Glad you're with us here at 5 on a Wednesday morning. I'm John Paul off the top this morning with continuing coverage. The County Commission is calling a meeting to hear and discuss Superintendent Dorsey Hobson's future plans for Shelby County Schools. Local 24 News reporter Janae Francine is live for us in downtown Memphis. Janae, you followed the story for us yesterday. Help us understand what the new plans are. You're learning more about them this morning. That's right, John. Yesterday, Superintendent Dorsey Hobson revealed his proposal for the district. Now, listen up. Here's his proposal. He is wanting to close 28 existing schools, build 10 new campuses, and then add to five existing campuses that are already here in the city. Now, the new campuses he is proposing, he wants to add those in areas such as Orange Mound, Whitehaven, Raleigh. More than 15,000 students are expected to attend these schools in the new buildings. The proposed plan also includes $700 million in capital investments, but Superintendent Hobson says it could save the district 15 to 20 million per school year moving forward. I think the research is clear that facilities matter. So uh, with this recommendation, we put about 15,000 kids in new facilities. Uh, we save about $20 million a year in operating costs, which we could invest back into schools. And then we save about $100 million in deferred maintenance. At this special called meeting, the county commission will get all of the details the school board received yesterday and be able to ask any questions they may have about this proposal. We will be at this meeting bringing you the very latest update. Stay tuned right here and online at localmemphis.com. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Jeanne Francine, Good Day Memphis.